protest! Several organizations advocating for unaccompanied migrants came together in Carrizo Springs. Chanting and waving signs, they called the new emergency migrant shelter an immoral expansion and demanded change. Do not lock them up. They're not criminals. The protesters blocked the road outside the shelter, creating tension between them and the Dimmick County Sheriff's deputies. A towing company later showed up, sending advocates scrambling to move their cars earlier than expected, ending in three arrests. I saw them uh, tackle her and tase her, tase her down um, and actually hold her down on her, on her where her neck area is. Using a makeshift fence, advocates left notes for migrant children inside. My thought was if we're doing it to welcome kids. The new detention center is home to about 200 migrant teens and can hold up to 1,300. Recent claims of inhumane condition at migrant camps have many advocates questioning this new facility. Why doesn't they show us that they are in good health? Why don't they show them that they've got good conditions? Health and Human Services spokesperson Mark Weber says they're planning on a facility tour soon. I walked through the dorms. They were doing education. The English language is here, as well as others, math and science and language arts and things like that. Protesters say it's not enough. Addie Guajardo, Ken's 5 Eyewitness News.